So this has to be by far one of the most terrifying locations we've ever turned up to, to the point where we didn't even really want to go through the window. We have seen a few other people investigate here and they got some mind-blowing paranormal evidence. Most of the investigators we've seen explore this place have actually ended up running away. We made a promise to ourselves that if we hear anything or see anything, we are staying until the very end. But the thing in the back of our mind was, there is no quick exit. There's no quick escape from this location. There may be no escape at all. None whatsoever. Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. Sussex County Asylum opened in July 1859 but closed in 1995. The majority of the asylum was developed for residential use but a part of the building was left abandoned. Many other ghost hunters who enter this building end up shaking with fear and leave believing some demonic entity was out to harm them. Let's have a look. stairs they, they go up they, they don't I think they come down they do if you're upstairs yeah but the bars they were for um, people to stop them uh, jumping over the banisters weren't they yeah and then the mesh in between is to stop them from putting the hands through and strangling people on the other side yeah. okay let's stay down here first there's a pigeon that's been like Ripped in half. Reminds me of the school. A lot of these rooms... Reminds you of a school? Reminds me of the sinister <laughs> school. What fucking school do you go to? The sinister school. When we have <laughs> it's what it's called. The, the, all the sinister <laughs> pigeons that were eaten. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say, a lot of these rooms do kind of just go through and then out the other side of this corridor. So we're just going to go through the main bits first. This has got such a horrible feel to it. Like, it's one of the worst. Genuine one of the worst feelings I've ever had. Mm. Like, do you feel like you're holding your breath? Yes. I mean, I always, I feel like almost like somebody's not looking at us, but... Walking away from us, almost. And these, these old numbers as well, on the doors. But isn't this a typical view of an asylum where they have windows yeah. with, on each room like that. Yeah. When we went to Hell's Hospital, it was similar, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it's water here. Like, I know there's water dripping, but it also sounds like there's people talking. Mm. What is, what is through there? <laughs> what the fuck is that through there? I don't know. Fuck, I feel so on edge. Why do we keep going to really creepy places at the moment as well? Oh, uh, because it's our job. No, but you know what I mean? Like sometimes we just go places just because it's abandoned. Yeah. At the moment, it's just like the worst kind of places. Oh, 
That's not fucking ominous, is it? I mean, we can't get through there, really. Yeah. At the moment. Oh, shit. Asbestos. I don't know. Not sure if it is or not, though. Fuck's sake. Probably is, isn't it? Okay. You go first. Because, um, I don't want to go up at all. <laughs> <to be honest. laughs> this is vile. There used to be a door here. Use your imagination. Yeah. <laughs> Look how disgusting that is, all the cobwebs and stuff. Sorry. Behind it. I know, honestly, I've got oh. the same problem. Oh, shit. <laughs> mm. I don't like this. Mm. That was a fucking massive bang right next to me. I'm not even joking. Mm. Mm. Like, just there. Stairs. Dude. Whistle. Whistle. I need a moment to breathe. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> At least there is a floor in this one. Concrete as well. Oh, why are they shut? Two rooms opposite each other. It smells rot. I think you should John Wayne it. <laughs> oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> I thought it was locked dead, isn't it? I'll do this side. I think I found a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever are we going to do? I'm gonna start calling you out here. Go on then. You I'll go come first. outside. <laughs> you go first, cause... Hello! What was that? That's fucking talking. You're not gonna hear it on camera. I swear I'm going mad. I must be going insane. Call out to anyone who might be here. Can you hear my voice? There's lots of bits of pigeon. Is there anyone here other than us two? Just here to come and say hello. Oh, that stinks in there. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? This is absolutely fucking awful. Come on. We're calling out to any spirits, any person, any literally anyone who can hear my voice. Can you make yourself known to us? Did you used to live here or did you die here? We're interested to know your story. Some people have been here to try and talk to you and you've made them launch themselves out the window with fear. We don't believe that you have that ability. Are there any spirits with us? 
We're here to communicate. My name's Elliot. My name isn't. We're here to find out whether you're okay. Wherever you are. You show us a sign. Can you knock on the door? That did sound like a knock somewhere far away then, but, you know. Do you want freedom? Are you even here? Apparently you have the ability to throw things and open doors and scare the living hell out of people. That was glass. Walking, I was just about to say, I'm walking. Walk towards us. Come, keep walking. Come right up to us and touch one of us. Or come as close as you want to. Was behind us. No, that was right behind us. The same looks I just had. Rattling of pipe or something. There's something behind us. I can just stay where we are because we're we're getting what we getting some interesting stuff here. Keep my camera in the Come and make some nice, loud, distinctive noises for us. We just want to have a conversation with you. We want to make sure you're okay. Things are happening in this corner, though. Can we just stay here? It's in the middle. It absolutely stinks as well. Keep walking closer to us. Or it's fine if you don't want to, you can try and communicate from where you are. Can you make a nice big loud noise just to once again confirm that you are actually here?
Well, we may as well go off and check the next floor while we're here, haven't we? Yeah. It's interesting that the suicide barrier isn't here. It's so. interesting that I feel like, personally, I have to whisper all the time. Yeah, well, I don't know why. one of the worst places I've ever been. This is... Fucking... This is fucking disgusting. Mm. The, the floor is just like made of pigeons. It's just dead. Pigeon everywhere. Yeah. This is genuinely freaking awful. Let's have a look. I just... I can't explain how I feel. Look, look. There's piles of dead... birds. Point out all the pigeons are dead. Yeah. But seriously, how rough is this? There's just piles and piles of just dead birds sweeped up into the corners of the room where people have opened all the doors. Do you think like carcasses and stuff could cause energy? I don't really don't know. You never know. I'm not 100% sure what I think is actually going on here. Can anybody see us? Can anybody hear us? Doesn't matter who you are or what you are, I just wondered if you could try and communicate with us quickly. Who came up and did all these strange drawings on the wall? I presume it wasn't you. Come and let us know you're here. If you can hear me, just make a really nice loud noise. Mm. Do you know what I was thinking, right? This feels less weird up here. Mm. And there's also no like suicide barrier. Yeah. So you've got to wonder whether this was sort of like maybe the middle of the floor is where the worst things happen. Yeah. That was glass. Yeah, I keep hearing glass. Come on, don't, don't be afraid of us. We've got a couple of devices on this floor now. We've got one that's below us on the other floor, which you can go up to and touch and it'll just beep. We also have another device down here with the big green light. If you touch that, it will just change color. 
Feel free to mess around or play with them at any point. Come up and talk to us. You can say anything to us. Can you say it to this device that we have right in front of us? That's why the K2 just went off then. Really? I think so. I heard it more than saw it. Did you just come and touch this black device that you have on the floor with the green light? If you did, can you do it again, please? It's a great way to try and talk to us. It's totally harmless. It won't hurt you, it won't hurt us. See, that was loud, but no one's going to hear it. Yeah. Come and stand in between us. A black device we have on the floor. Actually, either of them, we have two. Will you try and manipulate them somehow, push them, throw them? What did you just do then? Can you do it again? We're really struggling to figure out where you are and what you are. What I just heard sounded like someone, something fucking scraping very loud, and then two or three very loud knocks. It's weird because from where I was stood, it literally sounded like you can tell the same I'm saying here, but it sounded like a choir starting to sing, like a priest. Like, <laughs> did you have a room here once? Yeah. But you... no, seriously, because there was two massive bangs. Well, not massive, but. It's very interesting. It's not like definitive evidence for anything, but they're interesting noises. Mm. Okay, well, we think we had this, the, the device go off a minute ago. You definitely seem more interested in just making noises, which, which is fine. If that's your preferred way to talk to us, or maybe you're not even trying to talk to us. The self image of me. <laughs> <That> face me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to ask an interesting or an important question now. Are you actually interested in talking to us, or are you just interested in scaring us? So, if you, if you actually just want to talk to us, can you either make these devices go off, or make a loud noise? There was a little tap, it. but it wasn't a loud noise. Can you make it louder than that, if you just want to talk to us?
Okay, so if you don't want to talk to us and you're purely around to scare people, can you make a nice loud noise for that? Do you not know what you want? You just you just sort of hear confused. We need to go to where that's making that noise. We definitely had more on the middle floor. Definitely. Should we get back down? Yeah. The fuck? Okay, that's interesting. You'll see that nothing has changed. Confirms what we were just thinking, at least. He's literally leading us that way. Is it leading us downstairs? I have no idea what's going on, if I'm honest. No, it's not. It still goes like through here. Oh, the smell's changed. Mm. That's disgusting. Are you here? Come and talk to us, please. That was behind us. noises. Okay. Very, very strange. Then it's almost like it's still nothing particularly definitive. But very interesting at the same time. That. That's quite definitive. <laughs> Do you know why I find it amazing? Because I, for love and money, cannot set this off, even using a phone properly, like this. That room. Why this room? Oh my God. Holy shit. What? Note 114. 114. Why? There's no why on the end. <laughs> Stop. Oh, and that's the room full of death. There's dead birds. That's everywhere. the room that I was on about earlier. That's absolutely full of dead animals. Oh, I can't even go in there. Of course. Oh, that oh Joe. Hmm. That is strong. Dead birds. Are they the Lush. spirit of books? There were two knocks. You here? You here? 
Is that the spirit of an animal rather than human? I'm not sure how we could get, get out your phone and make some bird noises. <laughs> if that's a spirit here that can hear us, can you stop the device going off, please? That's a weird signal too. It's very strong. Oh, hello? That was 100% in this room. Just saying. This hang on, is... hang on. Hello? It's stopped. I feel like I'm having a stare down with someone. Hello? My name is Joe. My name's Elliot. We're not here to hurt you or harm anything, we just want to say hello. Can you say hello back? I'm just saying it's stopped. Oh. What the heck? What is that? What is that? Stop, stop. If you can set off that device, can you try and set off the device it's now leaning against? Okay, so we're going to walk down the other end. Can you follow us? Stop making that light go off and follow us. What do you feel like we need to do right now? Um, like it's a hard one to investigate because we can't get anything distinctive for us specifically in where we are. Maybe. Come on. What?
What's that then? It's not people then. That's not going off either. Just saying. I asked for it to follow us. Mm. And it's, it went off somewhere almost. Then we heard noises and that's now going off as if it's genuinely buggered off somewhere else. Well, it's not interested in us, is it? I'm definitely not, like, scared to the point where I'm just going to start shaking and jump out a window. As always, we've been here for a good couple of hours. Mm. Um, I don't feel like we're getting very far in terms of actually investigating to get any definitive answers, but, I mean, I'd say, at a push, yes, maybe haunted. Mm. It's not a demonic poltergeist or anything, but it's creepy. Absolutely. Is there a coloured screen that we should use at this point? No, I think we're, we, we shouldn't really call it coloured, just black screen. 